see it right there felony now he's already got some problems which i'll show you some other things as well but you can see the information last updated yesterday according to this stating two counts of non-consensual dissemination of private images again that's exactly like i said i figured that's exactly what would happen to it notes the warrant is a court order to apprehend the individual i always i always like uh looking at the uh the, the notes on this again this is a governmental site do not call a governmental site by the way the warrant itself if you want to see now we already knew that there were phone calls where the police had uh, had discussed this incident but this turned into an actual filing check that out the reason all of this is happening is trying to silence Aaron. now personally i would say that you know if you're sharing nude if you're dumb enough to share pictures like that on the air yeah you, you should know better <laughs> yeah you knew you were quoted by police you you're under you're under scrutiny for sure you shouldn't do that anyway okay well, let's just straight up 100 percent. but on top of it you know going out and and doing this with the you know with a smile and a thumbs up like hey look i didn't do so bad it just i don't know the complainant states that the following facts establish probable cause july 17th 2024 you notice how fast we move the speed of law by the way so july 17th we have these issues we have this stuff brought up around you know that's investigated July 17, 2024, law enforcement took a report of the unauthorized dissemination of sexual images complaint. KR, again, we know who KR is, you know, KR, Keller Cater, fully identified in police reports, called in to report Aaron Einhold. So to make that clear, you can see who established the report. There were discussions over who did or, you know, didn't do this, what it's about. Her image, she called in to report it. Okay, so. Send another individual a nude photograph of her without her consent. Also, there's been, uh, there's been discussion about, so, there's a photograph of Ricada Law, his butt, and her butt on images there and people have been like well you know they posted there for well it's not the same image <laughs> you know now he can try to make arguments like that but again you're allowed to post things and <laughs> private photographs <laughs> that'll get you it's just it's amazing you can dislike a person like if you don't like anyone involved or you don't like a ricade or whatever you can still see the problem in this i would hope you know you could you look at that and if nothing else you could look at this and be like that was dumb i would hope you could sit down and 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 just you know note that that is a real problem but on july 19th kr nr and ai all fully identified in police reports they met with law enforcement now that's interesting too so you have not only kayla and nick meeting with law enforcement but aaron also meets with law enforcement so that's kind of interesting this is a, a an item we had again heard about phone calls that were happening but you know it was the parties either what's her name keanu or keanu i, I can't remember how to pronounce her name but uh you know she did a a video talking about it and the guy that everything was sent to there was discussions there but we find out a little more here so kr reported over the course of several months her nr and ai and defendant communicated via an app called signal but the purpose of the app it notes was to keep things private amongst each other and they all agreed that nothing would be shared to others now the reason that that's noted the intent of the app and that nothing would be shared is because if a photograph is shared there and again there is agreement mutual agreement that nothing will come out you see how this is developing into a problem here again the app itself the nature of it plus agreement okay so kr sent nude photographs via signal 
there's been a lot of discussion about what that means, about relations and on. I'm waiting for the day when they just talk about there, you know. I think it's pretty clear, <laughs> like, since stuff was going on. But, again, that's their business. Like, it's, it's, ugh, it's wild. It never goes well, though. Relationships like that never go well. Relationship, period. But when you add people in, what's it called? Polycule or... In April, there was a breakdown, and defendants started talking negatively about NR and AI on an online talk show. In May, he started talking negatively about KR as well. I said Aaron, by the way. I don't know why I said Aaron. April. So defendants starts talking negatively about April. So scratch the Aaron talking in April, which is fascinating again, just because of the implications for everything here. You know, it just, it, it's like a, what do you call those, open secrets? It's like one of those open secrets where you pretend that, um, you pretend something's not there or not happening, but I mean, it's there. In April, there was a breakdown. Defendants started talking negatively about Nick, April, online talk show. In May, started talking negatively about uh, KR as well. At the end of April, and it keeps throwing me off because I see April, you know, in the month, April or the beginning of May, defendants started sharing details of the relationship on a talk show. Now, again, that's uh, that's interesting, you know, because he starts talking about the relationship that they all share. Okay. Now, during the show, defendants sent. Now, this is the other guy that they're talking about. What's his name? Gino. I don't know some of these people. Like, I don't, I don't really care about these folks. You know, they're. They're names that come up with Aaron sharing a picture with, with the guy. And, I mean, really, it does. Somebody said it sounds like a telenovel. It does. It <laughs> sounds, you know, it sounds like a, it sounds like something that um, if, if it weren't leading to cases and it weren't attached to it, I'd be like, that's so, okay, whatever. <laughs> you know, this is kind of, yeah. And, you know, you'd have people, again, out of all of this, it's, it's just... <laughs> All of it reads something like, like an insane telenovel, doesn't it? You have live stream, live streams plus other live streams. They end up with a house raid <laughs> off of house raid. And I'm going to say allegations since they're fighting those in court. Allegations of substances, allegations involving family and everything else. You already saw hot tub streams with all of these folks. They were together, so Aaron starts talking about stuff. When Aaron starts talking, background with him starts coming out. You know, you find out about protective orders and other... I mean, just... It has been like a freaking telenovela. During the show, sent GB a text, which was a nude photograph of KR. She did not consent to this. So Nick Ricader reported that there were pictures shared via the Signal app, and May defendants started talking about the relationship online. And on May 27, 2024, defendants sent GB a nude photograph. AI reported that there were pictures sent. So you see all the, the it's all showcasing these people all talked to the police. They're saying, this is what happened, this is what happened, this is what happened. So again, they're just putting it all in here. So I reported there was uh, pictures shown by a signal app. The relationship ended in April. <laughs> it's throwing me off again. April reported that, that the relationship ended. She found out on July 12th that defendant sent a photograph to GB on May 27th, 2024. AI texted both GB and KT. KT, again, is the female Keanu, Keona. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that's, again, I, to learn pronunciations of people's names. Fully identified in police reports who both confirmed that GB received a nude photograph of KR on May 27th, 2024. Now, they talked about that again. They talked about on a stream. Actually, she talked about on a stream how the police had contacted her, how they had asked questions about this, you know, wanted to follow up on it. So AI looked at defendant's phone records, which confirmed that he sent a picture 
video to GB on May 27th, 9.23 a.m., which would have been during his talk show that day. Now, that's interesting, too. So, does the, the, she still have or had at the time, I guess? I guess while everything was, was going on, she still had the ability to, to check his phone records? Does that mean they're still on a shared account? Now, again, we, we know that happened. We, we saw it happen live, but you know that. I'm like, I, I wonder if that was remedied. Are they, they still have access? A review of defendant's talk show from May 27, 2024, shows defendant and GB participating. The two of them talked about Kayla and about her tattoos. Yeah, the, the discussion went, you know, ah, uh, your boy did good, right? looks so bad. It looks desperate is what it does, actually. You know, it looks very desperate. You know, it's this desperation for a back pat. Yeah, my boy, you did good in that. It's like, are you kidding me? You did it live. You know, so people could be like, yeah, you did good in this. You know, Nick didn't steal your, uh, your, your woman away or whatever, you know. He described KR as standing completely nude with a breast fully exposed. He further described a tattoo under KR's left breast in the photograph. Later, law enforcement was able to confirm with KR that she did have that tattoo under her left breast. Now, GB said that he deleted the photograph after. And yes, he did note that. You know, after they sat online and they discussed it and all of this stuff, he did indeed delete it. You know, they just had a public discussion of, <laughs> if somebody sent me something like that publicly, I, and, and I were on a stream, I'd be like, why in the, are you doing this? I wouldn't be like, yeah, good job, buddy. Because I wouldn't want to end up in the middle of, uh, of a jackpot there. Because you could just as easily be brought up in this, too. Because you're on the receiving end of it. You know, you're making commentary about it. It's a not, not very not very good choice. But at the same time, I, I mean, I'm you know, and again, that would be a very uncomfortable situation, I guess, would be the best way of going with it. So this case, by the way, I have a feeling uh, we I have a feeling that this is going to it's going to go on for a hot minute. Not just this, but all of this case is going to go on for for a hot minute.